Does the AFL have a problem? After the Lions lost to Richmond last week, it had me questioning, is the AFL biased towards Victorian teams? So you might be thinking, oh B, have you lost your mind? Well to answer that, no, no I haven't. This question might sound incredibly stupid to be asking or even thinking about, but if you have a good enough look into it, it makes sense. So let's quickly go over why this question is even valid to ask. So in the AFL, as of now, there is 10 Victorian teams, 9 which are based in Victoria, and then the Hawthorne Hawks, which are based in Tasmania. The 9 teams are Collingwood Magpies, Carlton Blues, Essendon Bombers, Geelong Cats, Melbourne Demons, North Melbourne Kangaroos, Richmond Tigers, St Kilda Saints, and the Western Bulldogs. Now that we know all the Victorian teams, I'm going to show you a table of every Premier and runner-up of the competition since 2010. What do you notice? Since 2010, 9 of the 11 Premiers have been Melbourne teams, which yes, statistically kind of makes sense, as Victorian teams do do outweigh the rest of the league 10 to 8. But just have a look at it again. In the table it shows all the runner-ups from 2010, which coincidentally only 6 of the 11 of the runner-ups are Victorian teams. This means that in 5 grand finals, there was a non-Victorian team and a Victorian team. The Victorian team was given the win. Typical, right? So now I just want to take a look at the 2021 final series. Without a doubt, Melbourne deserved the trophy. They were by far the better team, but they are not the Melbourne team I want to look at. I want to look at the Western Bulldogs. So, the Bulldogs finished in 5th position on the ladder at the end of of last season. In the first round of the finals, they beat Essendon by 49 points, which was well played, but this wasn't what fazed me. In the semi-finals, the Bulldogs came up against the Lions, in which was a thrilling contest, and they won, the po- uh, they won the ball game by one point. Or was it? I remember watching the game, and the umpiring was clearly one-sided towards the doggies. The Lions had tons of calls, either missed or ignored by the umpires, which ultimately led to the Bulldogs getting the win, allowing them to move on to the next round. In the preliminary final, the Bulldogs played Port Adelaide, which, surprise surprise, isn't a Melbourne team. Port finished above the Bulldogs on the table, and the first round beat Geelong by a comfortable 43 points, so they were not a team to be taken lightly. What's that? 71 points! Yes. Bulldogs went on to thrash Port Adelaide in what was one of the most one-sided contests of the finals. Coincidence? I think not. The grand final ended up being played between the Demons and the Bulldogs, and the Demons comfortably won the competition by 74 points. But let's be honest, we could have seen that this coming from the start of the season. Anyway, what do you think? Put your opinion down in the comments below and let me know. Also, please hit the like button and subscribe as it would help a ton and keep me motivated uh, to keep bringing out content for you peeps. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.